We've already seen how some rockets work, but the fun is far from over. That's right. Coming up on time for me to ride the rocket car with the wise guy. And of course, here to explain the science behind all of this, Matt Sellen. Good morning. Good morning. So, in the last segment, we saw that if you push against something like another person or a, or a medicine ball, you can get yourself moving. But it doesn't have to be something big like that. It can just be air, like we saw with this propeller. Because right. Air has mass also. So now you're going to show us what happens here. I'll explain it while you do this. Woo! Inside this little ball is some water. If you can heat that up, the water will boil. The steam will shoot out these little jets, and this thing will spin around. This is called a hero's engine, and was conceived. Gabriel. It was conceived by Hero of Alexandria in one. 100 BC. And wow. This thing is about that old if you look at it. It's pretty old looking. Wow. And so that's, a, that's a, an example of action and reaction. Forces come in pairs. The, the steam gets pushed out the hole and the thing goes spinning around. So this eventually way. evolved to become the steam engine that drove trains and things like that's that. That's right, yeah. right. So All steam right. expands. We, oh, here we go. Here's a purple balloon. I'm going to use this to, to have a sort of a mini rocket at first. You can do this at home. I got this balloon at, at the toy store. And if I let go of this balloon now, Okay, I can get it shooting that way. The air gets pushed out this way with a the force, therefore the, the balloon gets pushed that way with the same force. So okay. now, this is literally rocket science. This is it? rocket science. <laughs> are you ready to be our astronaut? I am. Okay, Speaking now, Speaking of rockets. Astronauts are required to wear the, uh, the junior <laughs> fire marshal hat. There you go. Safety first. Right. Okay, so here's our rocket car. That's up my hair, is it? I don't know. It's Too might. late. You may be going kind of fast. So what we have here is a, is a big charged-up fire extinguisher. So inside this, there's CO2 at high pressure. And uh, when you squeeze up the trigger on this thing, the pressure inside is going to push the CO2 out this way. And the same force is going to push you going backwards the other way. So we have to pull the safety, safety out. off. And now we have to do the countdown from three. Three. Is back up here. Two. One, go. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Cool. Oh, you let go. Oh, if, you, right. if you'd kept on There's pushing a wall on that. there. I, yeah, well, that's a detail. It's a concrete wall. That's okay, Matt. That would be a whole other science that question. Was fun. So how does it feel? It was neat. i got to tell you, this is not the rocket car I was expecting, but it's a close second. I'll take it. So that's a... <laughs> yes! Put That's the like, safety back in. So great example of action and reaction. And you can find all kinds of neat things about rockets and action and reaction at NASA's website, by the way, if you go and search it, which is what I did. And I have to thank everybody here for putting a link to, to my Wise Guy webpage on, from your morning show webpage. Yes. It's very cool looking. And uh, the question for next week is, is the following, and we're going to talk about rotations. So you've all seen figure skaters, and they do this little thing where they spin really, really fast. Yes. Right. And so how, does, how do they do that? How do they get themselves spinning so fast. You know, what does a figure skater actually do to get spinning so fast when they do these little pirouettes or whatever it's called? And then also for, for bonus points, if you can explain how that works or why that works. If you can explain to me how they can skate after they get done without falling down, <laughs> that's just curiosity on my part. Well, if you have any questions for the wise guy or would like to answer that question, there's his email address, wiseguy at, at uiuc.edu. And of course, there is a link on our website under the morning show. I have a question for the wise guy. Can I take the rocket car outside in the snow? You could try it. Sure. Right? Yeah. It'd be more fun if you took oh, it. Oh, fun is to be had by all. <laughs> it is kind of slick this morning across central Illinois. Let's take a look at our Springfield Skycam.